Another um, way to go in terms of helping out reducing costs is donating your body to science. Now, here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, we have the University of New Mexico Medical School, where you can call up and make arrangements with the school. The important thing about this is you have to do paperwork and sign the papers and say, yes, I want to donate my body to science. If you live in a town that does not have a medical school, there are national organizations, such as one called MedCure, which can arrange to, you sign the papers with them, and they will pay for all the expenses of picking up the body, uh, taking it to wherever it would be, the body would be used for medical science research, surgical training. You certainly don't want a surgeon, you know, replacing a knee on a live person who hasn't done it much before. That's what cadaver, exactly. you know, donations are part of. So you can recycle your body and do good at the same time and save money for your family. Uh, MedCure would cremate the remains and return them to the family within two to four weeks. And of course, outside of that, they're not paying for any kind of memorial service you might have or uh, flowers or obituaries, things like that related to those kind of issues. Shopping around is another way of helping to save money. And I, I cannot praise highly enough this DVD, Making Sense of Final Arrangements and Funeral Costs. It uh, was produced by a lady named Kristen Lord, who was a hospice volunteer. And she wanted to help people who have a family member who is facing you know, death to be able to call up a funeral home. So you actually see scenes of her talking on the phone, finding out about cremation, finding out about burial costs, and going in and making her own arrangements, which she was a little nervous about. But you know what? We're all heading down that road. It's an inevitability. Yes, yes. It's a non-refundable inevitability. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>